Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, okay? We're going to be sitting down. We're going to be having a live radio show. We're going to be talking about the Jets, all that's going on in training camp, the roster, all this news, crazy stuff happening. Call in. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side. I've come to talk to you folks today about Dalvin Cook. Mm, yeah, Dalvin Cook is meeting with the New York Jets. You know what I'm saying? He's coming for a visit. We're going to be discussing Dalvin Cook. We're also going to be talking about Sean Payton. And he's, <laughs> Sean Payton is talking crazy. <laughs> Sean Payton is talking crazy about the New York Jets. And we're going to be discussing that too. He's talking crazy about Nathaniel Hackett. Talking crazy about what the Jets are doing, and we'll get into that. Now, first, I want to talk about Dalvin. Now, Dalvin Cook will be visiting the New York Jets, okay? He's going to be flying in, depending on who you listen to, all right? Some people say he's flying in tonight. He's going to meet with the Jets tonight. There's other people reporting he's flying in tonight, but he'll meet with the Jets this weekend. Whatever, he's meeting with the Jets, okay? Okay. So he's flying in, and he's going to get a meeting with them. Now, according to Robert Sulla, okay, he said out of his own mouth, when, when Cook does meet with the New York Jets, they will have him take a physical, okay? They're going to check on that surgery that he had on his, on his shoulder, make sure that's good to go. And then, you know, eventually, I guess we'll see if they're going to be able to sign him or they're going to have discussions with him and figure things out, right? Now, keep in mind, Sulla said that the interest in Cook okay, isn't an indication of them being concerned about Brees Hall and his health. Now, do I believe that? No, right? I'm not saying that they don't think that Brees Hall is going to be able to come back at some point because he's looked, you know, he's been out there on the field doing some things, but I don't think he's going to be ready for the, for the season to start. I don't. And I'm starting to think that they don't think that either, right? Which is okay. Right? Brees is coming back from that injury. I don't want to see Brees Hall on that field until he is 100% and not a second before. Not a second before. I don't want to see him on the field before he's back fully healthy and ready to go. I don't want to see that. So, you know, bringing in Cook makes a lot of sense, right? Now, keep in mind, Dalvin Cook, according to reports, is also trying to work something out to schedule to meet with the Patriots. Hmm. So that puts a little pressure there, right? If he does get out the door, he's going up there to New England, going up there to Foxborough and meeting with the hoodie, and they could end up, you know, signing him. So, you know, just to put that out there as well. Now, when you talk about Dalvin Cook, of course, we all know Dalvin Cook can have mad, major impact if he were to come here. Major impact, right? He's had over 1,000 yards the last four years in his career. Uh, he's been in the Pro Bowl, I think, from 2019, 2022. He's a great back, right? He can move. He can run. He's got a good speed on him. He can also come out the backfield and catch the football. Dalvin Cook gives us the total package, right? And he also gives us a great one-two punch. If Brees cannot start the season, Dalvin Cook and Carter? <sighs> Dalvin Cook, Carter, Izzy, and Bam Knight? <sighs> Man, that's something crazy, right? We be we still be good. So that's a good, you know, good spot to be in. But I think the big factor that's gonna be in the play is what he's going to be asking for. How much moolah does he want? What kind of deal is he looking for? Keep in mind, Aaron Rodgers just gave back $35 million to the New York Jets on this recent contract uh, that he signed, two years, $75 million deal. So, you know. We'll see what's going on and what's going to happen going forward with this. But, you know, Dalvin would be a great get for the New York Jets. He'd be a great signing. Now, 
If he doesn't sign here, I'm not going to cry because we do have, again, Michael Carter, who I think is, you know, more, more than enough here uh, to carry the rock until Brees comes back. And again, Bam Knight has shown flashes. And I like Izzy as well and what he'll be able to do with the football. But if you can get Dalvin Cook and he wants to be here and it's a deal that works for the team and works for him, thumbs up, let's get it done. All right, so we'll see what happens going forward. We'll see what happens with Dalvin Cook. Now, we got to talk about Sean Payton because this man is talking crazy. <laughs> this man is talking crazy. I don't know what got into him, but my brother is talking crazy, okay? Listen, Sean Payton sat down with Jarrett Bell, all right, as a, as a reporter, and he had some choice words to say about Nathaniel Hackett and what the job that he did with the Broncos, and he also talked about the New York Jets, and I want to read these quotes, okay, directly from the report, all right? Now, here's the quotes. Here's, this is Sean Payton. He said, it doesn't happen often, okay, where an NFL team or organization gets embarrassed. He said, and that happened here. Whoa, he's talking about with the Broncos. You know Sean Payton is the coach of the Broncos. He said part of it was their own fault relative to spending so much, he cursed, darn time trying to win the offseason. The PR, the pomp, the circumstance, marching around, and all of that stuff. Whew, he continued on. He said, we're not doing any of that. The Jets did that this year. He hating. <laughs> that, that's just hating. Oh, okay. He said the Jets did that this year. You watch. Hard knocks, all of it. I can see it coming. All right. Then he says, remember when Dan Snyder, okay, former owner of the, the Washington team, put that dream team together? I was in I was at the Giants in 2000. I was a young coach. I thought, how are we going to compete with them? Dion's Dion Sanders, Dion's uh, there now. That team won eight games or whatever. So listen, just put in the work. Bruh, <laughs> he came out of nowhere hating. Look, what does that, what, what does what they did in Washington, what does that have to do with what we're doing here? Okay, you're accusing us to build. We're not trying to build a dream team. Most of the guys we have on this team, right, the, the big time, the player, the Quinton Williams and Sauce Garner and Garrett Wilson, and a lot of these guys have been drafted by the New York Jets, right? Like, what, what do you, we, we got a bunch of guys that we've taken in the draft that have really put. It's not like we're going out there grabbing every free agent, first off. Second off, why is that such, why is that looked against now? Because they were doing that in Tampa Bay. Nobody cared. When, ta when, when Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay from the Patriots, nobody cared that they was over there building all those guys. You had guys showing up talking about, yeah, I can't wait to sign, and I'm going over there with Tom Brady. Nobody cared then. But now the New York Jets get some love of what we're doing, and now you come here hating. Wow. Now, he didn't just stop there. He had more to say to Jared Bell. Now, here's where he starts talking about Nathaniel Hackett. He didn't just stop there. He started talking about Nathaniel Hackett exclusively and the job that he did with the Broncos and how bad Sean Payton felt Nathaniel Hackett was as the head coach of the Broncos. It's wild. Let me read you these direct quotes, okay? Hold on. He says, oh man, there's so much dirt around that. There's 20 dirty hands for what was allowed, tolerated in the freaking training rooms, the meeting rooms, the offense. I don't know Hackett. A lot of people had dirt on their hands. It wasn't just Russell. He's talking about Russell Wilson, the quarterback of the Broncos. He didn't just flip. He still has it. This is BS that he hit the wall? Shoot. They couldn't get a play in. They were 29th in the league in pre-snap penalties on both sides of the ball. He continued on. That was a message, Peyton said. They can only beat the crap out of you so much. But everybody's got a little stink on their hands. It's not just Russell. It was a poor offensive line. It might be one of the worst coaching jobs in the history of the NFL. That's how bad it was. Whoa. <laughs> 
listen, Sean Payton, you know, has done his thing in this league. He's won Super Bowl, and I respect him. His thoughts on Nathaniel Hackett and the job he did there, cool, right? That's your own opinion, whatever. Even though you're a coach in the league, you probably shouldn't be saying things like that in the public. He said it, right? So he's speaking his mind. Mind you, we do play them this year. We do play them, okay? But, you know, he also took shots at the New York Jets as well. And I, like I said, I think that's just hating, bro. You just hating. Everybody all of a sudden has a problem because the New York Jets are building up and they can't stand it. But this is the hate that we've seen before. You know, we've seen it before, right? Now, the media spoke with Sulla about Sean Payton's comments as well. And Sulla just basically kind of summed it up and said, uh, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. You know, so hate on. That was kind of what, that's what he said. You know, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. So we'll just let him hate on. We're going to continue on our path and continue to fight, continue to push, and continue to be the best team that we can be. I'm just basically summing it up. So even Sully himself, you know, recognizes, bro, this is just some hate, bro. I'm not letting that derail me. I'm going to keep it pushing. I think it's crazy that Sean Payton was talking like that. That's crazy. And we're going to see him this year, too. Oh, yeah, we're going to see him this year. And we're going to see what's up. All right. Comment down below. <laughs> Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about Dalvin Cook coming to visit the New York Jets? Do you think the Jets will be able to get a deal done with him? Do you want him to be on the New York Jets? I've talked to some Jets fans that don't. I am not one of those fans. I'm just saying I've talked to some that don't. Also, give me your thoughts about Sean Payton, <laughs> the Denver Broncos head coach. <laughs> Talking crazy about the New York Jets and Nathaniel Hackett. Give me your thoughts on that. Comment down below. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.